Hi, welcome to the channel. I am Dean Rodbera, and in this video, I'll give you 100 tips on becoming a new member of the bar. Welcome back. This video, I'll give you tips from one to five. Five. So please listen closely. Here's the first tip. Now that you are I've recently passed the bar, build your CV or resume. Make sure you fit everything in one page. Why? Recruiters, HR personnel, even law partners are gonna be seeing, reading hundreds of resumes because I'm sure you're applying during the bar results season and you need your resume to stand out. Having uh, no stapler on the left side indicates that it's easy to read. I'm sure you can find out how resumes look good, how, uh, how to um, put up your resume. Make sure you put in the first part your achievements, whether it through work or as a law student. After your achievements or maybe credentials, go to your work history, if any. The last thing should be your educational attainment. Why? You're already a lawyer. You've passed through college, you've passed through law school, and you've passed the bar exam. Tip number two, invest in good walking shoes. Why? Walking will be a part of your life. If you are into the job hunting season, the job hunting experience, walking will be every day. And let's say you already have a job, or let's say you're working for yourself, you have your own firm. Walking is still a part. And what's worse than walking? Standing. If you go to court, you will stand practically the whole time. I've been in courtrooms where there are 100 people that is in a room good for 30. You might even have to stand inside or maybe stand outside. You need to invest in good walking shoes. Tip number three, invest in good lawyer gear. Win by gear, your appearance. You gotta invest in a good suit or a barong Tagalog like this. Now, if you're gonna buy a suit, you need to buy at least two. One for all black that can be used for formal wear and another dark colored suit, not light suit, so that you can wear during hearings. But make sure that whatever you invest in, whatever gear you have is gonna be good, comfortable in warm and hot weather. Not all courtrooms and offices have gonna have, are gonna have aircon or cold weather or cold temperatures. You might be sitting in everybody's you know, warm because the aircon won't be able to take that number of people. So your attire should be comfortable enough in the harshest climate that is the courtroom. Tip number four. So you're done with law school, you're done with the bar exam, and now you have a collection of books. If you're not gonna donate them, keep them. Collate your books by subject matter. The books that you will need are basically your, your remedial law books, maybe your commercial law books, and maybe you should keep that law labor book that you have. You're gonna have a labor case once or twice in your life, even if, you, even if you practice a different field. Aside from the large law books that you may have, if you already have a, the latest, uh, what they call codals, uh, rules of court, the commercial laws, even the revised penal code, you have to keep that small and handy in your bag, whether it be in the courtroom or in the office or in, out in the field you need to make sure that you can refer to those books instantly. <clears throat> and the last tip for this video from one to five is sort and file your case digests. I'm sure during your four, five, six years in law school, you've had hundreds of case digests. Whether you kept it electronically or on paper, sort them, file them, and put it, put it together so that be, because these cases will either help you in your recall, your studying, and most importantly, in drafting of your pleadings. Jurisprudence is 80% of your pleadings. You need to research. And if you have your case digest sorted about by subject matter, by field, by even by uh, chronological order, you put a system or you can recall whether this case is about illegal legal dismissal, this case is about breach of contract, this case is about damages, or a certain criminal case. These case digests are there for your memory. You've read them before, and when you read them again, 
you remember the recitation you had in law school. Hi, please do me a favor and smash that like button. It'll help me a lot and it will trigger the YouTube algorithm. Now, if you have not yet, please subscribe to my channel. If you don't, my dog will eat this exam booklet and that student has to repeat his final exam again.